Hi everyone, Brad at MJB. So this is a piece of Baker equipment and as you can see it's missing a few panels. Um, this is actually a roll plant or a molder and a dough goes in one end, it's uh, shaped and then it's spat out the other end ready to uh, uh, ready to be baked. So in the correct shape that you uh, desire. So this one is made by Mono Equipment. I don't know if they're made in the UK, probably not anymore, but it is a UK based company, uh, but a lot of their stuff's made in Turkey. But um, it's hard to age this. It's probably, it's probably up to about 20 years old. So there's a one and a half horsepower uh, kilowatt motor in the base, drives that big flywheel there, pulley. Um, there's a set of four rollers on the inside that are adjustable. And there's the rolling table here. And by adjusting these handles, um, there's a set of guides in there that shape the dough. Um, if you come around the other side, we can see we've got um, a chain arrangement and them different size sprockets run all the rollers at different speeds, obviously, to what's desired to get the correct product. So that is the machine. It needs a full mechanical refresh. A load of work has already been done by the customer um, in having these replaced. These aren't um, originals, as far as I know. These have all been uh, replicated and replaced. Um, that's exactly how we would have done these with a shoulder bolt and a bronze bush. And we have done these in the past the same. So that's fine. As you can see, we've got some um, micro switches, limit switches that need some attention as well. The cabling in general needs some attention and it just needs probably every bearing changing. Basically a full mechanical refresh. You can see that these rod end bearings are pretty old um, and it needs a bloody good clean as well because it's sat unused for a long time due to the uh, problems it's been experiencing. Just lift this up and you'll be able to see the rollers. So that's two of the uh, rollers and there's another pair behind. So all of them bearings need replacing. Um, and the rollers themselves need polishing up. Now we're looking at having them rollers coated uh, in a fluoro polymer, like a PTFE uh, Teflon, Teflon type material for the food industry. That basically stops the rollers from rusting again and also prevents the dough from sticking, which is uh, quite useful. So as you can see, the dough goes in from the top in between them four rollers, which are all adjustable. And then it comes down onto these belts and goes through the actual uh, molding table. Um, so yes, that is basically the machine. I think it's probably gonna take us a while to get this all stripped down. We're gonna clean it first. So I'll set the camera up and uh, we'll get it off with a forklift and give it a, give it a wash. With the machine now cleaned, we can start disassembling everything and looking for wear or damage. This is the chain case prior to cleaning, and this is the chain case after cleaning. Just makes it a lot easier to strip stuff down when it's clean. So the first job was get the chain off and remove the rollers, which you can see there. 
And this is my pal, Tom, helping me disassemble everything. This is the drive sprocket, and as you can see, the shaft is severely worn. So that will need to be repaired. That's the machine mostly disassembled there. And here are the rollers. So they were quite rusty, as you can see, and some were seized on the bearings. That's the old bearings there. And every roller on the drive end was worn. So they will all need to be metal sprayed, which you might have seen our other video. I'll put a link in the description. And we actually metal sprayed all four rollers. And that looked something like this. Once the rollers were repaired, we did send them off to a local company that specialise in Teflon coatings for the food industry. And here they are, coated in their proprietary green coloured material. The coating is about 50 microns thick, I believe. It's highly durable and it's very non-stick. Please excuse the terrible mess. We have just finalised the mechanical works on this dome moulder. So this is a mono equipment moulder and um, it integrates with an IPP, basically an automated bread plant proving system. So when the machine came to us, there was issues with consistency, uh, worn sprockets, squeal, squeaks and squeals, etc. The machine had sat for quite some time. So we started off, we give the machine a good clean and um, then we started disassembling and assessing the wear and the damage. So we've had uh, a new sprocket, we've had uh, new bearings in the idlers the rollers have been removed for the belt cleaned and new bearings for them these are like a um, pressed steel clamshell type the rollers were worn on the ends so they were metal sprayed and then they were sent away for a teflon coating because the original coating on the rollers had failed and they'd gone rusty the shaft that runs through the machine to the motor on the other side has been repaired We've had new hanging bearings at that end for the belt. We've had two new belts for the motor and the pulley. We have also had a new Subaki chain, which is a very high quality Japanese chain. We have lubricated all the chain and sprockets with the old Interflon food lube. Fantastic stuff for chains and um, doesn't attract dust from dough and as you would expect in a bakery because that kills a chain very quickly so we're now ready to turn it on at the minute it's wired directly to the mains as i said it is meant to integrate with another machine as you can see it's running very nicely it is nice and quiet no squeaks and squeals the chain looks to be running pretty nicely and the belt is tracking Okay, it could do we come in this way ever so slightly. The rollers are running. And there's no noise from the chain section now. So that's good. That's ready to be final cleaning to be done and delivered back to the customer. To clean the belt, we're using Interflon Eco Degreaser, which is food safe a stiff broom and the jet wash. <laughs> 